Okay, we have the largest haul of minifigures that I've ever gotten. This is all themed in the Castle and Kingdom sets. This is absolutely massive. It's like half of a gallon Ziploc bag. That is crazy. Yeah, let's pour this out and see how much this actually is. Okay, so we're gonna start by moving this aside and I have a base plate right here, handy dandy base plate. Every time you have a minifigure hole, you've gotta have a base plate nearby. Anyways, we're gonna go through this one by one and we're gonna start placing them on the base plates. Yeah, let's put these on the base plates. We got a lot of knights. Okay, so I finished placing them all down on the base plate. This is a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I didn't even know um, the guy that I got it from had this many. That's insane. We also got some um, just random weapons, medieval weapons. We got a helmet, we got an unfinished knight. So I gotta finish that. I gotta add a head to him and yeah. Okay, so the first three minifigures, we got a queen, we got a princess, and we got, I think that's the king, or he's just a really gold knight. But I imagine it would be a king. So we got a king, princess, and a queen, which is really good. Like, really good. For the first time getting anything castle related, I got all of the three um, important people right there. That's really good. And they all look super sick. The next two minifigures are some kind of like warlock or evil wizard and then we got a um, joker or you can call him like a jester, something like that. But those two are super cool. I especially love this one, the different colored pants and the different colored hat just makes him look like a goofball and it's amazing. And this guy has great detailing. He actually has a cape, it's not printed on. That's really cool. All right, the next three figs are the orcs or goblins or whatever you want to call them. They have these cool helmets. I've never seen a color of helmet like that. They are pretty dusty. I need, I need to give them a good wash. But yeah, the middle guy is missing an arm. The detailing on these guys are ridiculous. They are so good. The back is terrible. Like, don't even look at the back. But the fronts are, just look at these guys. They are so detailed and that the first guy right here has a mark that looks very if not it's very similar if not the same as the new cmf orc that we got in the new cmf packs but these guys are amazing uh, they're probably my favorite figures yet okay the next guys are the evil evil people we got a bunch of a huge skeleton army we got all these skeleton horses we got like seven over here and we got a black skeleton which i've barely seen i've never really like had one but i've seen the white skeletons but the black skeletons just look so evil and super cool looking we got this guy i don't really know what he is but he's probably like a part of the orcs he probably has an orc head somewhere um but we got dark skeleton armor. These armor pieces are really cool. I'm pretty sure that's not his shield. Pretty sure that's a mummy shield from one of the adventurers sets or whatever. But we got, they are yellow, but they still look pretty sick. We got like seven or eight um, little skeletons. We also got this guy, which if you shake, um, his arms move around, which is really weird, but 
I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Comment down below if you have one of these and if it's, that's supposed to happen. We also got an Ninjago one, which I'm pretty sure that's a Ninjago, which doesn't really match the rest of them. But we have a ginormous skeleton army. We have like a Grim Reaper guy right here with the hood and the cape. That set I am currently building right now, it is super cool. So a review will be coming out soon on that. And yeah, that's it for the skeletons. In the back, we have this ginormous chungus right here with a tiny little, like, I don't know, stick? I don't know. But I don't think that's supposed to go on him. But that is a really cool piece though. It is really unique. It From a distance, it looks like fake Lego, but it is not fake Lego. Anyways, this big ginormous chungus right here is a ginormous, I guess you would call it an orc or maybe a goblin. I don't know, but this is ginormous and it's probably, it's my only big fig. Maybe I have Thanos somewhere. I don't really know, but this is a really cool fig, like super cool. I, this is going to go great with my um, orc army building. This guy is top tier. Okay. So, in the back here, we got three nice horses. We got two white ones and one brown one. These are super cool. They all have armor. They're all ready to go to war. And yeah, they look absolutely epic. This is a knight's hall, and it can't be a knight's hall without knights. So these are all the knights that I managed to get in this hall. We got three red ones which are really interesting. I love the hats. One looks like, like a scuba diver hat. And then the other ones are just amazing. They come with shields. Well, at least that one did. And a sword. We got a green one back in the back here. And then we got the rest of them are pretty much blue, but they all came with different unique faces. My personal favorite is the scary cat one. But yeah, some of them have markings from when they got hit. And some of them just have smirks. These armor pieces right here are super, super cool looking. The shields are awesome. The little pointy things, I don't even know. Once again, I'm new at this, so I don't really know all the weapons and everything, but yeah, these are some sick looking knights and just makes me wanna army build them. And I might actually do that. But yeah, these are a great haul of knights. Okay, so this is the finished haul. I am super happy with what I got. I got a lot of awesome, awesome minifigures. I can't wait to build Lego mocks. Comment down below if you wanna see a mock series with knights included. This whole haul cost me absolutely nothing. One of my friends, he just said he had a bunch of castle Legos and asked if I wanted them. And I said, yeah. And so yeah, this is all free. This is the best haul that I've ever gotten for free. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember to click that like and subscribe button for more awesome content. We got a review video coming out Friday, so don't miss out on that. Comment down below what your favorite minifigure is. Mine is this gold knight. It is super cool, especially the sword. I'll see you guys in the next haul video. Honey, where are my pants? <laughs> there you are. <laughs>